breaking the wall of quantum computing. Bo Peng, Falling Walls Lab, Slovakia. Hi, I'm Bo, and I'm from China. I'm studying in Cambridge. I'm one of the two winners from Slovakia. I'll talk about quantum computing. The understanding of the universe, from microscopic electrons to impossibly large stars, belongs to the realm of physics. To solve the complex physics equation, we need extremely powerful computer. As proposed by Richard Feynman in 1982, a quantum computer can simulate everything from climate change to black holes. And two years ago, Google claimed it built a quantum computer that can finish a calculation in 200 seconds, while conventional supercomputer takes 10,000 years. However, these quantum states are extremely fragile, so if you bought a quantum computer from Google, you need huge room for the cooling system. And it's also hard to detect these quantum states. So in the past two years, the Nature Journal has retracted two papers from a Microsoft Lab team because of several inconsistencies. So, are there any alternatives? To this end, my research focuses on atomic vibrations that are everywhere in solids. They can transport heat or carry sound. And in my master's study, I focus on how they transport heat. So in my PhD, PhD, I decided to move to a more ambitious one. Can we build a quantum computer based on these vibrations? And my PhD work is divided into three different parts. The first, is do these quantum, quantum states exist in atomic vibrations? And I'm extremely delighted to find that, yes, they do. And I borrow ideas from mathematicians called topology to avoid errors when doing the computing. The second piece of my work is can we control these quantum states? And I find that we can control these quantum states use light in a well-known material family called oxide perovskites. And the third piece of my work is how do we do a quantum operation based on these atomic vibrations? And I borrow ideas, again, from mathematicians called non-abelian breathing. So basically, by breathing these vibrations together, we can do a really decent quantum operation. And I'm probably the only person together with three of my collaborators who knows how to do this in the entire world. And with this, I would like to thank all my collaborators and also thank the organizers for this wonderful event and thank you all for listening.